Well, this place is kind of noisy, so let's go out first. Hey guys, welcome to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Seda. Go! Today, I'm at the Kita Senju Station. Well, the last time when I came here, I found the popcorn vending machines. Back in the day, we could find a lot of popcorn vending machines on the street. However, recently, we don't see much. So I thought interesting and I told about it. But on that day, I didn't try it. So maybe today I can try it and let's check if the taste is good or not. Oh, by the way, I'm at the north part of Tokyo. The town's atmosphere is a little bit different. So let's take a walk and let me show you guys a little bit here. So let's keep walking. That's the Malui department store and that's a Lumine. Kita Senju is a really interesting city, I think it's because there is a huge department store, but at the same time, in front of the department stores, there is a nice local arcade. Well, I think the popcorn vending machine was this way, so let's keep walking. There are many old people on the street compared to Shinjuku and Shibuya. Also, I found a nice mochi store too. We don't see many mochi stores in a big city, so if you like mochi, maybe you like this town. So the first corner you see, you have to turn right, and you will find another arcade. Anyway, so let's keep walking. Oh, look at that. It seems like that's a local hundred Japanese yen store. The Daiso and the Kandu is really popular, but uh, still there are local 100 Japanese yen store too. And next to the 100 Japanese yen store, that's the vegetable selling store. We call it Yaoya in Japanese. Uh, recently, there are many supermarkets replacing the Yaoya, but uh, if you go to the countryside of Japan, you can find a lot of Yaoya too. Oh, this is the apple pie restaurant. The last time when I came here, I saw many people making a line for that. <laughs> no. Today, we are going for the popcorn, so let's keep walking. This hair salon and the clothes store looks really old style. I'm wondering this store, how long has been here? <laughs> Cute kids, future athlete. Oh, look at this curry shop. Nippon no kare. This cheese curry looks pretty good. When you see this gate, turn left. Popcorn vending machine is almost there. Wait, this hair salon names Lion Hair? Wow, maybe they can do my hair. There is local coffee shop and the green grocer game. And here we go, we arrived to the popcorn vending machine. This is the vending machine I was talking about. Yes. Oh, interesting. Seems like this flag is American flag. So I believe this popcorn vending machine is from America. I'm not sure. People are from America. Have you guys seen this before? So like, don't shake it. Don't climb it on. So there is a picture machine. Also, uh, there is a hidden vending machine behind this vending machine, so let me check it. Hmm? <laughs> we don't see any. Anyway, what else we see? Hello Kitty no Mizu Hanbaichu. They are selling the Hello Kitty waters as well, but I don't see any vending machines. It's working for 24 hours, so let's get one. Let me see. They have butter taste, caramel taste, and salt taste. Hmm, which one should I try? The price is 220 Japanese yen, which is almost 2 US dollars. Well, I like butter taste and salt taste. However, let me try the caramel taste because I have a really good memory with the caramel popcorn. You know, when I was a kid, I go to the Disneyland. I smell the, this caramel flavored popcorn and it reminds me of good child memory. So I like it. Anyway, let's try this caramel popcorn. Hopefully it's working though. 
Oh yeah, it's working. Oh, by the way, you can not use the 1,000 Japanese yen bill here. So make sure bring the coin if you want to use this. <laughs> can you guys hear that? The popcorn is popping. And already I can smell the really good smell. <laughs> and it seems like it's ready. Let's get it. Okay. Oh, actually it's pretty warm. Let me see. Well, let me place the can somewhere and then let's try this. Actually, it's pretty hot. Oh. So let me use the hand sanitizer. Yeah. Okay. And here we go. Yes. So this is the popcorn from the vending machine. Well, it says chewy, actually. Be careful, it's hot. So let me place it here. Let me try the popcorn. Well, it doesn't look like a caramel flavored taste, but it smells like a little bit caramel. Let me see. Itadakimasu. <laughs> mmm. I see. <laughs> well, actually, this is the popcorn, definitely. Mmm. But. Definitely, it is different from the popcorn what you have in the Disneyland. The caramel flavor is also a little bit different. Hmm. It's more like a vanilla flavor for me. Hmm. Well, but I think 220 Japanese yen are acceptable. Hmm. Well, I'm wondering if the different popcorns taste different. Hmm. By the way, popcorn in Japanese is popcorn. Popcorn. Yes, the word is coming from the English, so that's why we have a pretty similar pronunciation. Speaking of the popcorn, it is really popular in Japan. When I was a kid, my mom used to make it for my brothers and I. We like the popcorn. Uh, in the supermarket, there is a small pan and then you can just heat it on the oven and then you can make the popcorn. Uh, somehow, my family don't use the microwave one, but uh, I think the microwave one is really popular too. Well, the price is about 200 Japanese yen, I think, so it's pretty similar with this one. Uh, but I don't think they had the caramel taste, so maybe <laughs> if you want to eat the caramel version, you can try that. Or maybe not. <laughs> Because this one doesn't taste like a caramel much. It's more like a vanilla flavor. Well, taste is not bad though. Speaking of the recent situation, finally state of emergency has been moved for Kansai region, but not in Tokyo though, as of March 1st. Since the situation is getting better, so I'm thinking of going back to Osaka, but still I'm thinking whether I should go back by Shinkansen or by plane or by bus. How do you guys think? I don't know. By bus, it's much cheaper compared to Shinkansen. However, you have to stay in the bus for over 8 hours from Tokyo to Osaka. Well, so maybe it's not really a good option for now. Hmm, let me see. First thing I want to do after I go back to Osaka is cutting my hair. Yes, my hair is getting super long. But whenever I cut my hair, I usually ask my family. So I'm thinking of cutting my hair in Osaka. I think it's better. Actually, I'm talking in the parking lot and I thought someone would park there. However, he just wanted to U-turn here. Anyway, after go back to Osaka, I will cut my hair and I try to introduce how the Japanese beauty salon works. If it's possible. If not, I will just cut my hair. Anyway, the popcorn is good. The vending machine was interesting. After this, I will try to take a photo of this town, Kitasenju, and then I will try to post it on my Instagram. So if you haven't checked my Instagram, please check my Instagram account too. <laughs> I know today's content is much shorter than regular contents, but I want to try shorter contents too. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching my video. See you in the next video. Arigato. Bye bye.